Can I just ask you, you were you comfortable going over to North Korea? <laughs> you, you want to, I got to ask yes, I know, you. I know you. I, know I you suck ask. if I don't ask uh, you that. I know you're going to ask. I knew you were going to Come well, on. Oh, what's going on with Kim Jong-un? No, and and no, what, but, what's, what's the rest of the world missing with this guy? He loves basketball. I mean, a lot. He loves that, but he asked Michael to go. Michael said no. Then he asked me, and I said, okay, I'll go. But, 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 the, but, the, but the deal is, I didn't know anything about the, the politics of it because I wasn't going over there for that. Right. I wasn't going for that. I was just going just to meet the guy, da, da, da. It wasn't about politics. It was nothing about that. And everybody wanted to keep making this big hiccup about, why did you go over to North Korea? Don't you know who this guy is? I'm saying, it wasn't for me to go over there. I just wanted to make history, I thought. History because not too many people ever go over there just to even have a conversation with them. And people made that such a political st uh, stand for that whole thing. I'm like, whatever, man. Right. So, but you know what? And like I said, I'm glad I went because because it's just part of history. A lot of people went over that over over the years, you know, not not for for, uh, for political. I went there for sports, and that was it. So if people feel so comfortable or uncomfortable about that, I'm sorry, but I did it, and it's um, you know, the rest is history for me.